It's me, the legendary Tyrannosaurus Rex, king of the dinosaurs, apex predator. And yet here we are, once again, talking about my arms. You think I don't know? You think I don't see the memes? Boys and girls have been roasting me for millions of years. Three feet long. That's it. Imagine being at the supermarket and you try to grab something off the top shelf. Spoiler alert, you can't. Those smug little velociraptors over there? They can actually use their arms. Meanwhile, I can't even scratch my own back. I have an itch. Tough luck. I wish somebody would invent a repellent because those annoying mosquitoes will end up sucking off all my blood. I can't even wave. And let's not talk about all the embarrassing situations at the dinner table. And that time I was trying to do push-ups to impress a girl? Or at the amusement park with my friends? But guess what? Science says there might be more than one reason for these bad boys. Back when humans first dug up my bones, they were shocked. Oh no, his arms are so small, poor guy. They assumed my arms were just vestigial, as in leftovers. Excuse me? They even thought that if the dinosaur kingdom had not been annihilated by that silly asteroid, my arms would keep on shrinking until they would completely disappear. Okay, give me back my tiny arms. One theory says my tiny arms were for holding on to my partner during mating. Paleontologist Henry Fairfield Osborne saw my tiny arms and thought, maybe male T-Rex would behave like male sharks during mating. Using their tiny arms like sharks, use the two claspers at the base of their tail to grab onto the female during mating. So he thought that me, a 40 feet of raw muscle and charisma, had to use those tiny arms to grip a hold on the love of my life. First of all, how dare you compare me to pathetic sharks? And then my jaw was right there. You think I needed hands? If anything, my tiny arms made dating worse. Ever tried to cuddle when you can't even wrap your arms around someone? Tragic. Some scientists think these arms were to help me get up. Look, I'm not saying I never tripped, but to raise a eight-ton body. According to them, I could have done a tiny Tyrannosaur push-up to get up. There is just a small flaw with this theory. That would have lifted me just for the first two feet. I would need rockets to go off the ground for the other 15 feet. Instead, I just had to roll my way up like an overgrown turtle. Not my proudest moments. Some scientists think my little grabbers helped me hold on to struggling prey and tear them apart. Now that's a theory I kind of like. These babies? Sharp. Three-inch murder daggers. Might have been small, but I bet they hurt. Here's another interesting theory. Maybe my arms shrunk on purpose so I wouldn't bite myself when chomping down on food. We were quite social, and often we were binge eating these tasty triceratops in packs like scavenging hyenas. We didn't want huge arms get in the way of our giant mouths. That's right, self-preservation. Have you ever bitten your own finger? Now imagine doing that with teeth the size of bananas. Not fun. Some other scientists think my ladies might have used them to dig nests. Adorable, right? Tiny little scoops. Not quite a shovel, but hey, we work with what we've got. And even grooming. Picture it, 45-foot murder machines having a spa day. Just chilling, giving each other little claw massages. Honestly, I'm kinda into this one. King of the dinosaurs and a self-care enthusiast? Iconic. But one that really intrigues me, it's this one. You ever notice how everything about me screams terrifying apex predator? Yeah, that wasn't by accident. These puny arms? They weren't a mistake. They were part of the plan. See, I had one job, chomp things. And let me tell you, I was built for it. My skull was massive, my bite was legendary, and my teeth absolute units. Not dainty little razors, oh no. These bad boys were pure nightmare for my poor herbivores on the run. This level of bite power wasn't easy. My jaws needed reinforcements. Thick bones, rippling muscles, 
and an entire neck of steel just to hold this beast of a head up. That's where the tiny arms come in. Bigger head, smaller arms, better balance. See, if my arms had stayed big, I'd be tipping forward like an overcooked rotisserie chicken. Not ideal when you weigh eight tons. And before you say, well, just grow a bigger tail, let's be real. You really think I want to drag even more weight around? My legs were already doing overtime, keeping all this fabulousness upright. So yeah, my little grabbers were sacrificed for greatness. You can laugh at them all you want, but let's be honest. When your entire existence revolves around having the most bone-crushing bite in history, what do you even need arms for? So, what's the truth? Maybe I was just built differently. But let me be very clear. My arms may be tiny, but I was still the king. So keep laughing, Internet. I see you. I'll be waiting.